So earlier today, images and specs were released on the 2017 BRZ. Uh, the best place to go to get all this information I found is just straight to Subaru.com. They have a little video about it. They also have the images that you're seeing here. Um, it really lays out every detail you're going to want to know, and it comes from the, the most reliable source. So starting off, um, we have these Brembo brakes and 17-inch wheels. Um, I watched Subaru WRX fan video on this, and he brings up a good point. It's interesting they're throwing Brembo brakes in there. It's it's, an, it's a nice piece to have because it's eye candy um, within the wheel well. It just looks good to have that name brand there, but it doesn't really need these brakes. I guess uh, if you're taking it to the track, though, having that stopping power and it's fade free can help. Anyways. Uh, also, the 17 by 7.5 inch aluminum alloy wheels are a little wider uh, than that of the basic wheels, so now you get to separate yourself from the wheels of the Prius. Also, uh, Sax dampers are now available, um, and it's going to help you know, give it a better ride and better control while cornering, and there's been some upgrades to the boxer engine as well. Um, It'll still be the same 2 liter, um, it's got a little bump in horsepower to 205, um, that will stay at 200 though um, in the original torque as well if you end up going with the automatic version. Um, there's also going to be the mid-range responsiveness is going to be enhanced as well which is a low point of the older models. So, um, so that is all good there and, and really you shouldn't be upset that it has it didn't get a bump in power because there's going to be a second generation of this car and that's when you're going to get the bump in power. I don't think it's going to be turbocharged, but could be wrong there. Really, the key here is that they um, change the ratios on the six speed. That's going to be where you know it's quicker acceleration, it's a little more um, easy to use on a daily basis. Um, some other things here, they uh, took out, I think it was called sport mode, it's now track mode. Um, basically they recalibrated some of it to make it a little more aggressive, have a little bit more slip um, in that driving style, which is why they renamed it. Um, on the front here you can see the LED headlights and tail lights have also been upgraded. Um, just looks a little better probably in the daylight, the daytime running lights. Um, the interior as well has been upgraded uh, with several things. The Starlink uh, is all new. It looks like it's a lot more usable just from the image here. Just nice having those four panels laid out like that. Um, I'm, trying, I'm just kind of reading along as I go here on the Subaru site. Um, what else? Let's see. Another interesting thing is the 4.2 inch LCD screen uh, integrated in the, into the instrument cluster. It gives you uh, G-forces and you can also set uh, lap times as well. So kind of a nice feature. I just wish they would have formatted it differently. It's like hanging into the main tachometer, which is weird. I wish they would just offset it more to the right, but it is what it is. The final thing here is this image. The uh, It says more news to come June 12th. Uh, in, the, in the file when you go to save this is saved as like BRZ series Y. And I think this is probably going to be a limited release. It's probably going to be about 1,500 units. I don't know that there's going to be a power upgrade, but I could be totally wrong. Um, but it's definitely going to be a launch uh, for the new 2017 upgrade. So excited to see that as well. Um, any other news that you guys have on it, although I don't know what else could be out there because this is coming directly from Subaru, but um, interested to see it if you leave that in the comments below. Um, so yeah, we got some good news coming from Subaru. Excited to see this coming up on the 12th, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.